Stuart, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell me exactly what have you seen? Um, oh, my wife and I flew um, Qantas from Melbourne to Perth Saturday. Um, we took off, everything was normal. Then um, we just saw a guy walk down the aisle um, and hit another guy in the chest, which, you know, he was sitting two rows in front of us. Then he went down the back of the plane. That guy got up, went down the back of the plane. Then about 10 minutes later, the guy sitting in front of us came back with a, a towel on his head and obviously blood everywhere and, and whatnot. And then um, the guy that hit that guy, he came through and he had sort of blood on his left knuckles and, and everything like that. So it was pretty scary. And the corner staff were trying to make sure that this guy with the, the cut on his head, it was probably a good inch and a half open gash. And obviously the pressure on the aeroplane caused it to open um, and bleed. Apparently they'd had a fight before they got on the flight. So they had a the, fight before they got on the flight, then they've, had, they've yeah. continued the fight on the flight? Well, they hadn't um, made Qantas staff aware that, you know, there'd been an incident and um, they just acted normal to get on the flight. And uh, what happened when the plane landed? Uh, well, we actually got the... We, what happened was the, the guy started bleeding and he was vomiting uh, on the flight. So the Qantas staff were quite worried. This was about two hours into the flight, so we actually had to divert into um, Adelaide. Um, We had to backtrack about a half an hour and then land in Adelaide, and then all the federal police came on, uh, probably escorted um, all six or seven of them off with their luggage and everything like that. And, um, yeah, we found out later that um, once we... They had to throw the food and everything out and restock the plane, refuel it, and we found out that um, the staff had actually been threatened as well. Oh dear. So, yeah, so the Qantas, the head Qantas guy said um, that they don't tolerate um, passengers or staff being threatened in any way, and they take it seriously, and that's why they'll never be flying with Qantas again. So they, act, they, they did a really good job. All right, Stuart, thanks so yeah. much for calling us. Really appreciate your time. No worries, Tom. Love your show.